As you know, most presenters use PowerPoint, but how many times have you suffered the dreaded death by PowerPoint? This normally occurs when PowerPoint is used for the entirety of the presentation and the speaker uses slides as their notes and their crutch. Typically, in doing this, they will stand in the wrong place, that is next to their laptop on the mat of shame, instead of next to the image on the mat of PowerPoint. Often, from the mat of shame position, they will continually look back towards their screen or laptop. Only use PowerPoint if there is no alternative. Every slide must be beneficial to the audience. The slides are not there for the presenter's benefit. This means that bullet points should rarely be used during the presentation as they invariably compete for attention with the presenter. Bullet points, references and further details can appear in a handout so your audience can read the presentation notes at their leisure. Alternatively, PowerPoint can be brilliant for images. A picture tells a thousand words, so use it for illustrations such as maps, simple flowcharts, photographs and video. Sometimes you need a little text, such as titles and impactful statistics. Video is easy to insert on PowerPoint versions 2007 onwards. Microsoft have a simple editing tool called Windows Movie Maker, which is free to download and use. And it's not that difficult to create your own videos. The B key is very important. It allows you to blank your slideshow. When you press B, you can move from your mat of PowerPoint to your mat of power. It's a good idea to leave your PowerPoint blanked after your final slide. This will allow you to refer to them again if required by pressing the slide number and then enter. You can jump seamlessly to the slide that you want to display. Finally, another reminder. Never use PowerPoint.